To perform this work, you will need to safely raise and support the vehicle, as well as remove the under trays. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with that task. You will also want to remove the front wheel from the side of the vehicle you are replacing the tie rod on. There are two tie rods on the front of the vehicle that connect the steering rack, red arrows, to the spindles, yellow arrows. You will need to remove the tie rod and yellow arrow whether you are just changing the end or the whole tie rod. If you are replacing the entire tie rod, you will need to disconnect it from the steering rack, red arrow. Inspect the condition of the tie rod outer ball joint. This one is shot as the rubber is ripped and the joint is contaminated with dirt and debris, red arrow. Begin removal by using a set of pliers to straighten out the cotter pin and pull it from the top of the ball joint shaft. Red arrow. Use a 19mm socket and remove the nut. Depending on the age and condition of the tie rod end, you may need to use a pickle fork or ball joint remover, red arrow, to separate the ball joint from the spindle. If you are planning on reinstalling the same ball joint, use a ball joint remover as the pickle fork usually destroys the rubber boot. Measure and mark the installation position of the outer tie rod end, red arrow, or count the turns when removing. This helps with getting the alignment as close as possible when replacing it. Use two adjustable wrenches. Hold the tie rod in the space in the arm that is provided, yellow arrow, with one wrench, and use the other to loosen and remove the ball joint, green arrow. If you are replacing the inner ball joint, pull the boot, red arrow, off the steering rack, yellow arrow, with your hands. Use a large adjustable wrench and unscrew the ball joint end, red arrow, from the steering rack. There should be very little force needed to loosen the joint. There is a taper in the nut holding the tie rod on. Gently tap this back so you can loosen it. If you are worried about applying too much force or your seam stuck, you can wrap the steering shaft in a rag and hold it with vice grips while loosening the joint. Just make sure not to mar the steering shaft joint. Here you can see the groove that the tie rod nut sits in, red arrow. If you are replacing the complete tie rod, lay the old one on your bench and measure it, and set the replacement new one to the same length. You will still need to get the vehicle aligned, but this will get you close enough that you can drive to the alignment shop without doing damage. Transfer over the dust boot if your new tie rod did not come with one. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.